Let's continue that live team coverage with Ebony Coleman, where this all started months ago at the Gilbert building. Ebony, you've been following updates on the future of the building since the night of the fire. That's right, Jordan. I'm standing in the same spot I was in on June the 6th. And in the last four months, the city and Tom Flanagan have been in a back and forth fight on the faith of this building. Here are a look at some key moments. On June the 6th, it took 10 hours, more than 100 firefighters and 2 million gallons of water to put out the two alarm fire in downtown Beaumont. Over a week later, on June 15th, the building was deemed an imminent danger and city council members voted to table a measure on the building's fate for 60 days. Flanagan said he would be able to share a plan for the building by then. Then on August the 20th, the city decided to not demolish the building and give Flanagan more time to plan for its future. And last week, we saw what looked to be interior demolition. Then today, Flanagan's office was raided while investigators accused him of arson. I previously sat down with Tom Flanagan just days after the fire. Seeing it near destroyed and being helpless and then being uh, kind of a victim of mob mentality on the internet uh, that somehow I had something to do with it or created a condition for it to happen, which is totally untrue. It's also important to note Flanagan has until November the 1st to complete demolition and go in front of city council to decide the final fate of the building. Now coming up on 12 News at 10, I'm going to take a deeper dive into that search warrant and the future of downtown development. I'm live in downtown, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.